I just took a picture with John back here and I asked him to take his badge off because, you know, we didn't want to look like noobs. And John took his con badge off and threw it down onto the ground. And I don't know how it happened, but it managed to wrap itself around like a grappling hook does. Uh, never for real. Around uh, the court. It was magnificent. I really don't like to show off my superhero abilities you know, in public. But it was backstage and I didn't know he was going to out me, so thank you very much. No, it was incredible. It was an amazing, amazing speech. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? I'm a little, a little cold, to be honest with you. It's like 40 degrees out here. I'm a little sore. I'm a little sore because uh, because of Geek Prom. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. Where's Geek Prom last night? Geek Prom. Uh, but to tell the truth, I was actually I was actually sore the night before because when we did Rock Band, yeah. and you know we, we did our thing, and then you went up and sang Poker Face, and and Felicia and I went up and were the sexy time will we back up dancers? Yeah, right. I think you actually made the song work. Yeah, so that was awesome. But then afterwards, I was like, you know, I I began to feel the burn because my yeah. my leg sent me a memo saying you're 41 and sedentary. So I actually got a similar memo from my legs of walking from the vendor's room over here about uh, about promos. And, 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 and it was really bad because then people, you know, people come up to me the next day like, how are you doing? And I'm like, I'm sore. And that's not a good thing because I promised Felicia Day that I was going to dance with her at the Geek Prom. And, and you know, so I'm going to be sore while I dance with Felicia Day. And the expression they gave me is this. <laughs> I imagine you're not going to get a whole lot of sympathy. No, because it, wait, this is what this is what they call a high class problem. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like I'm I'm too sore. I may not be able to dance with Felicia Day. It's a horrible. Fine. I mean, no, but I, I I I held it together. I I, I did my manly duty. As you fully, like, like you do. Like you do, and uh, danced like an idiot, which was the great thing. And you were out there dancing. Also dancing well, like an idiot. And it was it was beautiful. You should dance more often. I, uh, my wife wants me to dance everywhere we go. Every time we go someplace and there's music in a place where dancing and the activities are appropriate, uh, uh, my wife really wants me to participate in those activities. And I feel like a jackass when I dance. It's just, I don't feel cool. I feel like, why is everybody staring at me? Oh, because I'm bad at this. Um, and like, I, I, I can really identify with John Lithgow and Footloose. Because uh, I'm just like, this is like, maybe we could not do this. So I had to call her this morning and I said, listen, there was this dude um, there was this dude who doesn't understand boundary issues who was shoving a video camera in me and uh, in my and Felicia's face while yeah. we were just trying to dance. Right. Um, and the video is likely going to end up online, which isn't cool. And uh, the uh, the video is going to be there. And my wife's going to say, "So I understand that you were uh, dancing." <laughs> so I called her this morning and I was like, "Honey, I want you to hear this from me before you find out from the internet." <laughs> See now, I, I, solved, actually dancing. I solved this problem early on because I actually took dance in high school. The dance teacher came up to me and said, "You, you, we, I need a man for the dance class. You're going to be the dance dance guy." And she walks off, and there was no arguing with Joan Orbach, and also she was hot. So, who was I to argue? Right, and right. and I got an unbelievable amount of flack for it from all my friends. You know, this is this is high school in in the late '80s, so you know. There were aspersions to my sexuality because I was in the dancing class, and I was like, "Let's think this through. I'm going to be spending my physical education period hanging around with women in tight clothing, holding them while they move rhythmically. Now, you are going to be spending your physical education time grappling with other boys, trying to wrestle them down and thrust them into a mat with your body." Which is the heterosexual choice. Uh, my, uh, my, my best friend when I was a freshman, his mom had uh, ran a, a drill team troop uh, in, in our hometown. And uh, he and I, wow, everything just fell down back there. Just, uh, oh, wow. I, I actually did that with the power of my mind. <laughs> Unless, unless actually any children were hurt, in which case I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> but, you know, just in case anybody's getting any ideas. Okay. Uh, so, um, His so midichlorian we, count? So through the roof. <laughs> I'm sorry, midichlorians don't exist in my universe. <laughs> so anyway, we spent, uh, my, my friend Ryan and I spent all of our free time 
uh, like sort of lugging a crew. We were roadies for the drill team. Right. Uh, just so we could be close to them. And, right. we, were, and we were ducky to those girls. <laughs> we were ducky the whole time. This is the, it, it, you got a lot of the let's just be friends sort of thing, right? A lot, a lot of, a lot, a lot of that. Uh, you can, you, yeah, and you can yeah, see that and, 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 a, and, a, and, a, and a lot of that big dumb stupid guy that's attractive that I went on a date with. He only wanted to get to second base with me. Can I come and cry on your shoulder about it? Yeah, that's a cry on my shoulder. I'm at second base. How about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm there for you. Yeah, yeah. No, it was really, it was really frustrating. You know what my problem was in high school was not that I got a lot of the oh let's be friends thing, although I did. Uh, but when I was in high school, and, and to some extent in college, I had the mystical ability to make women feel so comfortable with me that they immediately fell asleep, you know? <laughs> Which was, in one sense, very good. I'm glad that I was like, oh, I can just relax with this boy. It's like, no, I don't want you to relax near me. Shouldn't there be some sexual tension? Shouldn't that happen? There was tons of sexual tension. She just wasn't aware of it. <laughs> Someone in the audience may want to know what you're wearing around your neck. Uh, well, now that you mention it, I was at uh, my uh, panel yesterday and this uh, lovely young lady came up to me and said, I, I have something for you. And immediately you sort of freeze because sometimes it's like voodoo dolls with your face in it. <laughs> sometimes it's like, it's just you really don't want it. And she takes this out and it's this. Look at this thing, it's awesome, it's a, it's a crocheted scarf, and it's bacon. Now, <laughs> now, as you all know, I am the patron saint of internet bacon, uh, because back in 2006, on a whim, as you do. Like you do things. Like, like you do things. Uh, the internet taunted me into taping bacon onto my cat. And, like it does. Like it does. <laughs> Sooner or later, the internet makes you do something like that. Stupid, stupid internet. No, I was, I, was write, I was writing a, a novel, and I was near deadline, and I was like, and, and the thing is, is that I don't actually, and I think you probably happened with this too, if you didn't Twitter for one day, just one day straight, and you didn't Twitter. If I don't vlog every single day, they I start, think you're dead. Yeah, they send me an email. Are you down on well? If I'm down on well, how am I going to respond? You know, and... <laughs> So I do what I do when I'm not actually going to be on the internet. I post a note that says, I'm not going to be on the internet today. And I gave, like, a list of reasons. And, uh, you know, after, like, the first two, you know, doing the deadline, answering business emails, I started making stuff up, and I got to number nine, and I was like, tape bacon to the cat. And, uh, and immediately, that's what they seized upon. I don't think you can tape bacon to the cat. I don't think it works. Physically, the adhesion index is not right. You were just doing notes for you about taping bacon to the cat, and they actually demanded, for the science, that I take the bacon to the cat. And um, for science, for science, for science! So I call up my wife, and I go, do you mind if I take bacon to the cat? At this point, has Chrissy just decided there's nothing you can call and ask that she's gonna go, well, I, I guess I probably should have expected that. Like, there's, there's no... Uh, uh, there's no, nothing you can do is going to surprise her. I, you know, I think we got, I think we got to that point very, very early uh, in the relationship. So, uh, yeah, at this point, she was just like, I was like, can I take bacon to the cat? <sighs> <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> the internet wants me to. Because <laughs> you talked about potentially taping bacon to the cat on the internet. And I was like, I didn't know they would take it seriously. And she's like, she can already tell that I've committed to this course of action. You decided to do it, yeah. It has to yeah. For You're, the science. For the science, of course. Science. You're preemptively begging forgiveness. Right, exactly. Anyway, and she was like... Which is different from asking permission. Right, right, exactly. Because she knows it's going to happen. And she's like, fine, do it. Get it off the cat immediately afterwards. So I go downstairs and I, you know, approach it like you do with science. You know, I take out the bacon, and I take out the tape, and I tape the bacon to, or take the tape to the bacon, and uh, then I lift up the bacon and I experienced a first engineering failure, which is I actually taped the bacon to the kitchen counter. <laughs> <laughs> but every scientific endeavor suffers setbacks. Yeah, you know, if you don't have failure early, you won't know how to succeed later. So and later, you would rather fail early than later on. Right, exactly, when the cat's involved. Exactly. <laughs> right. So there we are, I'm holding, the second time around, I'm holding the bacon with one hand, I'm tearing the tape off with my, uh, and, then, uh, and meanwhile, the dog has come up going, hello. <laughs> Can't help but notice that you have some bacon. Right?